and welcome back to this week's edition of the Big Ten Student U Indiana Basketball Show. I'm Lexi Vanetti. Now, I ju IU just closed out the regular season at home against Wisconsin. With senior day and the postseason coming up, the Hoosiers were hungry for a win. But Indiana unfortunately fell short 65-60. to With tournaments creeping around the corner, our team takes a closer look at Indiana's tournament hopes and their predictions for the rest of the conference. Connor, Brandon, what do you got? Well, Lexi, thanks so much. Brandon, the postseason is here. Of course, Indiana's last game of the regular season against Wisconsin. Not going exactly to plan. The seniors, customary senior day, last game of the regular season. Deron Davis and De Devontae Green, those two seniors, they did get in the game. Didn't exactly have stellar performances, but you can't overstate the importance of Devontae Green in this postseason run moving forward for Indiana. Well, look, it was interesting in this one. Devontae Green actually had one of those good nights again that have you know kind of come in bunches as the season has gone along here. He was the only Hoosier to be able to score in double figures. He shot the ball really well in the first half. He had 15 points, but only had one point in the second half, so it really cooled off after a while there. Deron Davis made his first start of the season. He Obviously, he's been battling back from injuries throughout his entire IU career, but it was great to see him really get some big time minutes there at a time when they really needed him most and unfortunately it just wasn't enough because all of the other starters and all of the rest of the players yeah. on the bench yeah. really didn't produce mm -hmm. and it's been that way so often for Indiana this year Devontae Green actually holds the all-time single game record in terms of three pointers made in a single game with eight that happened just last year in Indiana's loss to Ohio State up in Chicago. This year's Big Ten tournament being played in Indianapolis for the 11th time. Of course, Indiana with that play-in Wednesday game against Nebraska. Let's take a look at the bracket here, Brandon, and kind of run through things because it should be doable for Indiana to get through that one. At least you better hope mm -hmm. Indiana gets through that one against Nebraska. But a very interesting year in the Big Ten, of course, all around. And when all is said and done, Wisconsin's the number one seed in this right. Big Ten tournament? Yeah, interesting is right. Wisconsin, you know, their head coach getting the nod as the Big Ten coach of the year. So really exciting to see that. And obviously the number one seed. So they get a share of that Big Ten regular season title along with Maryland and Michigan State. And man, was it a great season for all of them. But, you know, focusing on Indiana specifically, they're going against Nebraska in the first round here. Certainly not a matchup to overlook. You got to understand Nebraska has the bottom seed. But And Indiana did sweep them this year, but this is the Big Ten tournament. Indiana has struggled in the first round before, as we've seen many times here with Archie Miller, being unable to really produce anything once it comes time to get into the tournament season. Of course, Archie Miller not having great results so far in his first two attempts in the Big Ten tournament. 0-2 uh, there. Indiana playing on the first day of the tournament since 2014, and even then that was before the Big Ten expanded and added Rutgers and Maryland, so they didn't even have a play in Wednesday. Day at that point. Uh, you got to like Indiana's chances to move through against Nebraska. The Cornhuskers will be missing two of their top scorers in Cam Mack and Deshaun Burke. And like we said, I mean, you better hope Indiana can move through against Nebraska. Uh, assuming they do so, do you like their chances against Penn State? There's definitely a lot of reasons to be excited about how they're able to get through Nebraska here. We talked about how they swept them. We talked about how great you know those performances were. It was one of their two road wins, and this is a tournament that is obviously going to be played kind of at home because it's in Indianapolis, but it's still on the road. You're going to Bankers Life Fieldhouse. They're going to go against Penn State, and the Nittany Lions are going to be hungry to get some revenge against Indiana. They definitely felt like they were in a position <laughs> to win that game in Bloomington, and now here's the opportunity for those two to come together, and we'll see what happens as they move across the tournament here. Lastly, We'd be remiss if we didn't talk a little bit about the NCAA tournament. Indiana still technically on the bubble, kind of listed as a 10, 11 seed in, in most projections right now. Obviously this week, this game against Nebraska, critical to that. But do you see Indiana being able to avoid the first four in Dayton should, should the Big Ten tournament, you know, go to plan definitely you get one win here against Nebraska and they will be fine yeah gonna be exciting times all the way around so again Indiana makes the short trip up State Road 37 to face Fred Hoiberg's Huskers kicking off this year's postseason a postseason Hoosier fans hope is a tad bit longer than the past few keep an eye out for more of our coverage later in the week of course Indiana women's basketball awaits their own NCAA tournament fate on selection Monday so we'll have much more ahead March is here we'll talk to you guys in Indianapolis <laughs>